Hello and welcome to Second Drafts, everything you need to write, edit, and publish your way. Today we'll be going over the next step in publishing your book on Amazon, and that's writing the description for your book. Hopefully you've been following along, because the keywords that you choose, which we covered in our last episode, play into writing your description. During the course of writing your description, you'll want to incorporate as many keywords as you can. If you can squeeze them in, it'll reinforce those keywords for Amazon's search engine and help readers find your book. You'll need to be careful with this, though, as some of your keywords might be hard to fit into sentences. You'll want to make sure that your description isn't just a list of words and the sentences are easy to read. Otherwise, it will make reading it feel awkward and turn off potential buyers. The keys to writing great descriptions aren't easy and you'll find lots of different pieces of advice just by doing a quick Google search. You have to find not only what works for you, but for your audience, because what might work in one genre might not work in another. Some general tips you can follow are to first look at books that are selling well and that are in similar genres as you, and see how they're writing their descriptions. Make a list of the different styles used and which ones are used most frequently. Is it in first person or third person, present or past tense? What kinds of words do they use to convey the emotion they want the potential reader to feel? What do they talk about? Do they mention the plot, the characters? And how much of it is explained? How long is the description? These are all things you'll want to take note of, as you can use similar things in your description. If they're selling well, it probably means they're doing something right. One of the pieces of advice I like to take to heart when writing a description is trying to elicit an emotional response in the potential buyer. You can do this by letting the audience know about the main character and how they might be feeling in the story using power words. This works especially well in a thriller, as you can tell the audience how the main character might be on the run, trapped, desperate, with nowhere to go. All these phrases and words can provoke a thought and image in someone's head and creates a connection to the story. Another great piece of advice is to tell the reader why they want to read your book. If you build up that emotional connection, you can leave it open with a teaser near the end. Using the thriller example, you can leave the fate of the main character open, and of course the only way for the reader to find out what happens is by buying the book. Make them want to find out what's going on. Don't give too much detail on the plot and leave them with questions. Why is this person being chased? What makes them so important? Does the main character even know why they're important? Do they have something, and that's why they're being chased? Mention that in the description, but leave the reveal for what it is for later in the book. Humans are curious by nature, and want to have answers to questions. If you raise questions in the description, and let the reader know that they can find the answers by buying your book, they're more likely to do so. There are, of course, many more things that you can incorporate into a great description, so you want to search the web and add anything that you think will make it better. Once you have something, test it out. Show it to friends, family, or even post it on a forum for lovers of the genre you're writing in. You might be able to get some valuable feedback to make it even better. Remember, you're not writing a description for you. You're writing for someone who knows nothing about the books. You need to make it enticing for them, and give them the information that they need to make a sound decision. So, once you have a description you like, pop it into Amazon, and then we'll move on to the next step. Thank you for joining us here on Second Drafts, and remember that this is the place with everything you need to write, edit, and publish your way. Do you want to support production of this YouTube series? Visit www.patreon.com slash and become a patron today.